Hello everybody. So, today we're going to be taking a look at the Benelli 828U. Um, I didn't know what to expect with this gun. I genuinely expected it to be something I wasn't going to enjoy. Uh, the, um, everything I've seen and read thus far about this gun indicates that it is extremely light and there's a lot of felt recoil through this gun. Got to say, I've put 250 cartridges through this gun now in the last two days and I like it. Um, there are some good points and some bad points, for sure, um, but overall, I've had fun with it. I've really enjoyed shooting it. It's been an enjoyable experience. I shot uh, a mixture of skeet and sporting and some sport trap with it. I've hit pretty much everything I've pointed out, um, and it's been definitely fun uh, as an experience to shoot. 28s through it. You do know you. You do know you're shooting them. They're um, they're quite lumpy. Twenty uh, ones feel like shooting a toy gun. It genuinely feels like uh, shooting uh, nothing almost with a twenty one. You can't feel anything at all. But with twenty eight, you know about it. And I even shot some thirty. I've got some high speed video that we're going to play for you. Show you what the difference is. Certainly in terms of how the way the gun moves in the shoulder during the shot, and you can see that there's a big difference. Um, what do I want to talk about this gun? Well. What don't I like? Well, I'm honest, I do not like the aluminium effect on the receiver. Not a big fan of this sort of spark eroded um, figuring here. The trigger is generally pretty awful, to be honest, for a gun that's 1700 to 1900 pounds. I would expect a trigger that's a bit nicer than this. It feels like a semi auto trigger group. I'm guessing it probably is evolved from a semi auto trigger group, but it isn't the best. Aside from that, ah, not a huge fan of this rib. The rib has no uh, checkering on it, and you can hear that, but it is slightly loose. That might have, this is a second hand gun, maybe it's worked itself loose over time. The um, reflective surface on the top of it is uh, noticeable, but I never look at the rib. Uh, I always look at the clay, so to be honest, I haven't. When I shouldered it, I noticed it looking around it in the shop, but I've never noticed that while shooting it. Um, what do I like? Well, the shape of the forearm is absolutely lovely. It's very heavily rounded, this forearm, and it's a lovely shape, fits in your hand absolutely spot on. This fish scale effect that you can see um, in this checkering is, is, is lovely. You get a good grip on it, absolute play, a nice deep uh, checkering, really get a good grip. This cheek piece here, Seems to soak up a fair bit of recoil, and this thing does slap me in the face a little bit, I have to say. This recoil pad, which I'll uh, show you in detail in a sec, uh, definitely works to soak up a lot of recoil coming off this gun. The lockup, as you can see, is an extremely unusual looking thing, and there's a lot of movement from the top lead um, to uh, break the gun. By the way, gun's empty, just so you can see. Um, and this floating breech face is uh, an interesting design, shall we say. But all in all, it actually is a lot of fun to shoot. It's short as well. It's really fast. It's a six and a half pound gun. It moves pretty much wherever you want to put it. It is an absolute lightning thing to get on target. A little bit wobbly at the long targets when you are looking at a fast sort of a, a going away bird. Um, definitely, you notice the gun isn't quite as smooth in the swing. You've got to drive this thing and you can't just sort of steer it like you can with a heavy gun. You've really got to sort of steer with the bird and follow it all the way through. You've got to be very, very positive in terms of how you move. Um, but as I said, I've had a lot of fun with it. Price point, £1,700 and £1,900. Would I expect a nicer trigger? I think I would, if I'm honest. But other than that, I've had a lot of fun with it. I really have. I really enjoyed shooting it. Um, it's been surprising, shall we say, definitely surprising. Uh, generally, this thing, in terms of quality and fit and finish, feels great. It doesn't sound great when you shoot it, that sort of aluminium clicky clacky noise is a bit nasty, but to be honest, once you've got defenders in, you don't notice it. Um, I do like it, I genuinely do. Um, would I want to shoot it all day, every day? 28 gram loads? Probably not. Um, but I think this would make a cracking game gun. I think it would make uh, a great gun for somebody with 
of lighter stature perhaps, and couldn't manage a, um, a, a big heavy gun. With 21 gram loads through, honestly, it's, it's a pleasure to shoot this sort of thing. Definitely, definitely something to uh, consider as a, as a starter gun for a, or, or indeed a, not even a starter gun, a, a gun for somebody that uh, needs something that they can move around and can't quite manage a big heavy gun. Slightly more detailed look showing the uh, floating breech face and the inset stub pins into the aluminium receiver. As you can see, um, and the lock locking pins are there at the top. These two protrude and lock up into, as you can see, the inset's there. The extractor springs, which are quite meaty, and this, which I don't know if you can see there, get that to focus. There we go. Um, that's actually adjustable so that you can um, take any slack out of the fore end as the gun wears in. Inside the box, we have this kit. Oh, by the way, the box has a rather fetching tartan lining, which I don't mind at all, actually. There's the accessory kit which contains chokes, oil, this tool which is for removing the trigger group, this which is the spring that powers the auto safety which I removed, these shims which can set the gun up to be pretty much anything you want, it can be left handed, right handed, uh, you can change the, uh, the drop, pretty much do whatever you want with those, um, and the choke key which doubles uh, I've seen one of those as a um, thread cleaner for the tube. This is the recoil pad. I mentioned it's um, quite an extensive piece of kit. It's soaking up a lot. It's, we've done a lot of work as you, um, I don't know if you can see that, but those teeth acting against the other teeth. It works very well. As promised then, here we go with the uh, high speed footage of the gun uh, shooting at three different loads. So there's a 21 gram, followed by a 28, followed by a 30. And as you can see in this high speed footage, something I didn't notice while I was actually shooting it, uh, is the amount of uh, movement there is in the gun when you shoot it. There's a huge amount of uh, movement as the gun soaks up the recoil, but obviously as it, as it recoils into the pad, it does move quite a lot in your grip. Um, and I was, although I didn't notice it at the time, uh, banging my hand off my glasses at the time which it was, the gun was moving. That said, uh, I haven't changed my mind about it. It is an amazingly fun gun to shoot. You definitely want to give one a try if you get the chance. I think if you are only going to shoot a limited amount of, of, of cartridges through it, as it's kind of going to be a game gun, uh, or if you are wanting to shoot something very, very light and you're going to put light loads through it, definitely on the list. But if, like me, you regularly shoot 28 and you shoot a reasonably high volume, maybe just give it a miss. Uh, definitely try one though. Absolutely really enjoyed it. Thoroughly recommend it to give one a go. Um, so, thank you very much for uh, watching again and um, tune in again next time. And uh, give me a subscribe if you've enjoyed it. All right, thanks everybody. Bye now.